welcome back to the Zoic live stream of Affiliate Gathering 2024. We're now sadly coming to the end of the day. Uh, we are joined by the wonderful old friend himself, Paul Broadman. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, wow, what a day it's been. It's been a long day, but it's been a fantastic day. It's, it's always, it's a year in the making and it just flies by. Absolutely. I always know it does. I never think it will, but deep down in my head, <laughs> it will go really fast. But yeah, the run to it, I always think it's going to be. You know, a big pressured long day in the Emirates. It's not only God, so. Well, there's such a sort of phenomenal schedule to put on, and there's, there's so many different people and so many different um, aspects of the, the business they're sharing. Yeah. And yet, once you're in there watching them, it just goes like that. Yeah. Has there been any particular highlights for you today? Y yeah, there's a couple of really bits of information in it. I'm always here myself. I, I kind of sometimes think I've been a bit selfish because I think I put this event on for myself mm -hmm. uh, because I, yeah, I've been checking down notes and there's a lot of similarities in the presentations. I, I never vet the presentations because I always want to be kind of surprised myself. I don't want yeah. to ever go in there with scripted things. So I, I, I see them for the first time on stage and it's remarkable sometimes how similar all their presentations are. They all maybe cover things like we think of the website as just, it's a website. It's not, it's a business. And we very rarely go, how's your business doing? It's always, how's how your website, website doing? As if it's something not as important as a business. And yet loads of presentations were mentioned that today. I mean, we need to get in that mindset. Mm -hmm. I, I did, when I was in a, the presentation room earlier, I, I saw your reaction to that, it was fantastic. And you were just thinking, oh, you know, I rarely think, oh, what does, what does the, the publisher themselves want and, and the way that, I'm thinking this is yeah. actually really different. I'm thinking this is a website, and I'm not thinking of all the different uh, variables that a business would naturally include, but a webmaster might not. Absolutely, think. absolutely. It, it's kind of sometimes we get a bit self-complacent because we think we know our audience, and I sometimes think in my own personal newsletters, I know what you guys want, <laughs> and I'm just going to give it to you, and you're well, just going to take it. And yeah. it's like, have you asked me what I want? Yeah. You know, and I, I can't remember which presentation was there, but it was like, have you asked your audience? And I was like, so yeah. she knows SEO, yeah. Yeah, she does. And I was, I was just yeah. like, do you know what? I forgot the last time I asked my audience, what do you want me to make videos on? Or what do you want yeah. me to write local down? So, yeah, I picked up again that loads of tips that I'm going to take away from that. I'm glad to hear, for sure. We talked uh, earlier on the live stream about um, she knows SEO's uh, chat as well. Yeah. I think that was so powerful, especially when people are looking to so many different sources for you know keyword research and what's Google going to do next, but just asking your audience is so simple and it's yeah. almost the first step, but sometimes we're thinking so many steps ahead that it might not be seen to consider. Yeah, absolutely. I think sometimes as well we, we think we have a, a mapped out roadmap of the content we're going to produce, what people want, and we realise now that things change in our industry so quick. And we need to sometimes scrap maybe our roadmap that we have or the content plan we have and yeah. re refresh and you know, it moves so quickly. You know, you can you can you can be top of one week ranking the one for everything one week and suddenly that's not relevant anymore. Something else comes along. You're just gonna move quickly, but being a small publisher, you have the ability to do that. You can yeah, change you can so quickly. You know, you go through a big corporate, I used to work for a, a top restaurant company and for them to change anything took months of delegation, processes, and meetings. It's like, I only want that price change on that menu. Yeah. You know, we, we can <laughs> literally pivot our entire content strategy like the quickly. Yeah, so that's one of the yeah. best things. And yeah, and I, I, like I say, so that was mentioned in a lot of the presentations, how we need to think about what we're doing right now. There's still tons of opportunities out there, and we need to, yeah, there's new opportunities coming every single day. Mm -hmm. That diversification also uh, pivoting seems to be the, the word of the day today. It's only been used, I've counted four times. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be about 50 times in every presentation, but it's only been mentioned four times, and one of them was by myself. So, yeah. Oh, it's hard to take partial responsibility <laughs> for that. Um, but I do think it's definitely something that people have been focused on about that idea. Um, when comparing to last year's affiliate gallery, yeah. would you say that there are um, any key differences in terms of what's being discussed? Yeah, I think it's not so much a case of totally pivoting. I think it's more of a case of looking at the traffic you've got now, the customer base you've got now, the viewers you might have now, and seeing how you can make the most of that. Yeah. So that's not usually pivoting away totally. We're not kind of saying, 
if you have a website about pets, we want you to go into corporate construction. <laughs> it, it's, yeah. it's more a case of if your con if your whole thought process about your website was just blog article, blog article, blog article. Can you put some video on there? Could you build a course? Can you put some info product? That's what sometimes we mean by pivoting. Yeah. People often think, you know, Cat wants me to come off my pet website and start making TikToks and stuff. I'm not, you know, it's not that. It's maybe just pivoting your mindset about that website and what you can do with it, the possibilities. So I think ultimately, I think we've opened people's eyes today that, I mean, it's like me, for instance, I have a few websites where I would love a course on there, but I'm not an expert in the topic. And it would take me six months for me to even get a course that was even a tiny bit decent. But I can go out and buy a course. I can now find a content creator who knows that topic well and say to them, this is what I need. I need a course from my platform. You're an expert. Can you jump on board? I'll give you full credit for it. I think it was Mad's idea. And I'm just like, how easy is that? I have a course on every one of my websites and I don't have to be an expert in it. <laughs> so I, yeah, there's loads of great stuff. Yeah, I've definitely seen, uh, I've seen obviously the word collaboration a lot yeah. um, today as well. But people think of ways that their website can interact with other websites and build those natural networks that then you can fall back on even after those helpful content updates yeah. um, wreak havoc. And a lot of our publishers at Zoic, when we're talking about recovery, have also asked, you know, how do I kind of understand what other people are going through and how are we in this together yeah and exactly as you said being able to work together or find ways to collaborate to share courses or share uh, facebook groups yep. marketing and similar niches can be really really powerful and, and, and like we said there's, you know there's people out there have some really good ideas really good courses info products and stuff but they've not seen the success that they should do for whatever reason, they've not tripped the algorithm up or they've not tripped the YouTube algorithm. Something's not happened to them that's made them more successful. And you can then go and help them out and say, I think you've got some great content on there. You have an amazing course, you're just not getting seen. Let me help you. Can I promote it on my website? Come over, let me share collaboration with you. And maybe you'll get some exposure out of it. I've got more content for my readers. Yeah, it's a two-way street. But sometimes you get a little bit like, nope, it's me. Sign in my office or sign in my office with anybody. Yeah. You know, we need to break out that a little bit. You know, sometimes people think, especially the sites that are in similar niches, you know, that it's only, you can only think of yeah. just competitors. Yeah, talk, talk to them. Yeah. You know, there are so many millions of websites out there that it's always better to have friends. Yeah. And that idea of rising to uh, raise all chips, I think, has really shown in, in some conversations I've ever heard that people have been talking about similar things to go into a business or some new sites and similar niches yeah. and actually thinking, well, if we do this together yeah. and we, we make this a team effort, it's so much easier to be consistent yeah. and that consistency means I'm probably not going to end up trading off after six months and forgetting about it. 100%. I mean, I just visited as a gentleman, he was on a gardening website and he just collaborated with another general gardening website and he wants to sell a product that he has and they're just kind of like, you know, we're, we're competing in the garden, but we're not competing for this product. So why don't we work together on that product? It's just literally a win-win. You're not stealing my thing, I'm not stealing yours. We're both going to get products on yeah. our website. And they're both like, and I saw them shake hands, but I literally got told them, is that deal done? And they're like, that's great. You know? So yeah, we, we can't be too afraid sometimes. I mean, you know, that's, I think, was it? I think Emma said she's risk taker. And I think sometimes we're having to sit back and just trundle along and not take any chances. I think sometimes we might need to go, do you know what? I'm going to reach out to that website and say to them, can we do something together? You're doing amazing, I'm not doing amazing together. We might do something. So, yeah. And you might as well give it a go. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's one of the fantastic things about this event is it brings people together that might not often have those opportunities to either chat or yeah. chat in such a constructive way because I think the way people interact with each other on social media versus yeah. Being able to speak face to face, it, it, it uses a lot more collaboration and being able to put aside differences or um, find ways to collaborate that you might not have thought about before. So I think it's a really unique part of the ability of gathering. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole concept behind this was just me to get people together. Uh, originally, the concept was I just met with a friend of mine in a cafe, we were talking about websites, and Marie, my business partner now, 
literally sat there with a heart sold and just said, is this all you guys do? I said, yeah, because you don't meet people that yeah. know what a website is. Somebody said to me the other day that he was just saying to his wife that oh, I can't log into my Google search console. She was like, what the heck that is? It's, but I, I talked to somebody here and they were like, oh, I love you logging there. And it was just it yeah. was like, you know what I'm, I'm talking about. You feel seen. Yeah, so, you know, Marie said, you know, are there more people like this? I said, there's millions of people sat behind desks and work tops, laptops and on the sofa. I worked on my sofa with my laptop for three years and they just don't connect with people. And whether you do it at Philip Gallery, when you do a local event, a local business, it's just been a local Yorkshire business event around the corner. And it's been held on the same day. And I'd love to have gone around and just said, you know, like, I'm in the online business platform and they're probably bricks and mortar, but you know, have you thought about a website and you know, could you collaborate? There's lots of opportunities. So I think it's so important building those networks and it's been the best part for me. I have names and contacts in my phone I never thought I would have. And I know I can just message them and they'll be like, it's the free website account, what's the trouble? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's so helpful to have that. Yeah, I think that's, that is definitely the most important takeaways from this is building that working connections with people, as we said before, that you can work with in a, a case of, oh, I'll help you out here if you need anything, because I know how this feels, I've been in this situation before. Yeah. And especially for independent people, don't meet people to learn how they've got a website. They have a website, their friends probably don't have a website, and so you chat to people that you can see in person. 100%. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. when I first started, I was still working a corporate job. I was, a, I was a manager in a supermarket, quite a decent high level. So I was in a lot of meetings all the time. And my just before I went to a big meeting, my boss got hold of my website and he put it up on the screen in front of everybody. And he literally roasted me uh, for that. And it's like, nobody understood. They just thought he's just got a website. It was a joke. It was a, something. And then none of them knew what I was doing. Nobody connected with me. Apart from I met one person in the supermarket who were after the meeting kind of went, website hey. and it was, it was literally <laughs> that sparked the connection yeah. and slowly over about six months my boss got right into it to the point every day he pulled me into office and go sit down i sit down and go like what's i doing <laughs> <laughs> he got so <laughs> interested <laughs> into it is that a good idea it was like an interview i love room. that you literally yeah you so you can turn around yeah absolutely you know so you just you just you just never know it's in style yeah it's, it's, it's a bit of a website I think once people start to, to get into it, then they start to properly understand what we do, yeah. and then suddenly the whole world opens up that they didn't see before. I think website and video. I mean, I, I've pr practically pivoted at the moment from written content to a lot of video because for me, it was a low price point to get it. Videos don't cost me nothing to get my phone out and say, I know it's hard to get the phone out. And phone, let me face, I just refuse the photos because I, I just hate having my photo taken. But I'm happy to jump on a TikTok video and sell a product on TikTok. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you, you, there's so many opportunities in that. If you want to do video content, you can do. If you want to do faceless videos to back up your blog article, you can do. If you want to get original images on your, your website, it doesn't cost you anything to take an image. It doesn't cost you all to put a video on. Yeah. Everything like that you put on your blog post makes it unique, makes it different, makes it less copyable. Nobody can copy it. Exactly. You know, so, there's so much we can do, and I, that's what I'm really excited about. Because even though at the moment a lot of people are like, oh, you know, it's a bit doom and gloom, and Google sticks and all this stuff, it's just like, just do something else. Yeah. Give me a blog, but just think about your content differently. You know, get, you'll still get traffic to it. Well, I think that's a great point about being original. We talked about it in the Zoom Masterclass yesterday, and it's all about if this isn't working, yeah. let's, let's try something different. Yeah. What have we got to lose? You know, then there's so many different avenues from you know, different ways of utilizing AI as a sort of assistant or yeah. editor rather than just a writer, using videos, using vertical videos or horizontal yeah. long form content. There's so many different things that you can give a go of now. Yeah. And almost this Google update has hit quite a few people back, but it's also given people a pause for thought and ways to say, oh, actually I've been doing something the same way for a long time. Yeah. I think we got I complacent. Really I think I, if I'm honest, I got complacent. I got to the point where I was just like, I'd wake up, bang out a blog post, blah, 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 same old, stick it on the side, nothing's happened. And then now I totally look at things differently. Uh, I mean, Stuart, uh, the SEO Jesus just said to me now, I just told him what I'm going to do with the video that we've created here, the content we've got, and I'm like, I'm splicing this up, and that will be copying up that. And he's just like, oh my God, you just got like about 10 different media sources out of that one video. I'm like, yeah, he's got like, Jesus. You know, yeah. you know so. 
yeah, there's so many opportunities you, you could do. And at the end of the day, it's about getting traffic to your website. And it doesn't really matter where you get that traffic from, as long as that traffic keeps on coming. Exactly. You know, ideally, we get all that Google traffic comes back, and you've built all that social media traffic, or all that video traffic. But for me, like I say, that originality is, is, cool. is key. A friend of mine has a music video, and uh, I read one of his articles, and it was, it's, it's about kind of sound of music, and he did an article about AirPods and how they connect to these Wi Fi equipment and stuff. Right. And all the images on it were just like stock images of, of AirPods, yeah. like 10 stock images. I'm like, do you want an, a, a, an AirPod? And he's like, yeah, I've got my AirPods here. I'm like, why don't you just photograph your phone? <laughs> yeah. I literally <laughs> stuck him in his ear and took pictures for him. I said, right, get them off your website, put them ones on. Solid. And he was like, I didn't know, yeah, I thought that. Yeah, it's just those, those little changes. It, just even publishers having the opportunity to chat to each other kind of have that spark where you just think, oh, why isn't my title here or yeah. why isn't this template on my site or why have I not tried a top 10 list? You know, it's just those little no, moments. Little things like I'm testing now, like things like uh, chatbots, you know, for your website where you can actually get a, a chatbot that messages you to say somebody's on your website yeah. and they're looking at something and you can be like, hey, can I help you? I've just seen that you just looked at that new pair of shoes. Interested in what signs they've got, and you can talk on the phone to, to somebody that's on your website, which is never insane. done that before. Yeah, all we've done is I don't know, there's a lot of people on my website, I don't know who they are. Yeah, I guess there. I'll check next now, week. <laughs> now you can literally connect with them and go, Hey, I see you're on my website, and it's just nuts. It's crazy. It is, there's so much we can do. Now, moving forward to maybe next year or yeah. future events, yeah, could you give us a little teaser if possible to close out our wonderful live stream in the event? Is there anything that we can expect in the future? Every year is different, every year is different. I, I tend to try and cover what's popular at the moment, so what everybody's interested in, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when Pinterest was really popular, you know, we got Jen Stanbrook on, we did some Pinterest stuff. Uh, and I tend to move with the topics if possible. So I'm trying to get as many people to cover as many topics as possible. So it will depend on what's happening next year because we know how quickly it's changed this last six months, hasn't it? You know what I mean? Oh, who, knows, yeah. who knows in six months' time what the next trend or thing craze will be? Um, but we'll make sure whatever it is, we'll cover it. And I have just had a couple of requests that people wanting kind of not so much side hustles, but how to build other income streams and traffic sources. We touched on it a lot today, but maybe we'll have some more focus. You know, if you want to build a Facebook group, you want to start a YouTube channel, maybe we'll have some step-by-steps like to get you going. Mm -hmm. I want to build a great Facebook uh, group, but I'm still a little bit to be honest, I'm sure when I get on exactly what I press my keyboard. Yeah. I want people to go away and go, all right, okay, I'm going over it's starting tonight. So maybe a bit more content like that. But yeah. again, I don't know what the future holds, but whatever is popular at the time, I'll try and get it covered. I thought that's a very good teaser. That's a very, very good teaser. <laughs> We've had Jesus here this year. We've had, you know, again, yeah, I don't know how we can top Jesus himself. himself. Yeah, that's like, very, very Yeah, true. I don't know who else can top that with. So I think we look good this year. Yeah, the side losses, I think, for sure. The, the practicalities of not just, oh, this is a good idea, but this is a good idea, and here's how to do that. That's a, that's a yeah, good idea. Yeah, more of a kind of step by step, you know, yeah. We keep telling you Facebook's good, you need to do it, but you know how to do it. Let's, let's get some slides up and show you step by step. You know yeah. how to do it. Maybe we'll cover a bit more of that next year. Yeah. Um, Sometimes that's what stops people. It just says, "Oh, I'll put it off till next week." Yeah. Not really sure how to do it. Yeah. Um, so just those little things. It could be one button that you need to press that you're just unsure of. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a slide that says that's what you need to click to get started. That might just help you, you know, get going on a different path. So yeah, yeah. What yeah. sort of I'm always excited about it. I, I, I say I never know what the presentation are about. I try and get a broad topic, but. I always love seeing where it is, and yeah, I've took away loads of this today, so I hope everybody else has as well. Wow, glad to hear, and it has been my first affiliate gathering, it's been absolutely fantastic. So many publishers that I've spoken to uh, before, and it was wonderful to see in person, or people that I have absolutely no idea existed <laughs> before today, and it was wonderful to meet them. By the way, you've got, so, your, you've got your presentation on stage, you've got your trophy for the best dressed person. Oh, yeah, I mean, thank you very much. Oh, I'm, to I'm so sorry guys, we're going to have to wrap up the <laughs> I'm going to step it back <laughs> <in>. sorry. <laughs> but on a serious note, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's been a fantastic event. Thank, Thank you. you. I just, uh, my aim for this whole event is that everybody goes away, making new friends, making contacts, and getting some support. Whether they learn anything on the day, it's, that's irrelevant for <laughs> me. I just want you to go away with some support networks. Yeah. I hope people are texting each other tomorrow going, you know, if you second show me how to do that. That's well, what I want. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely think you've achieved that. Yeah. Right. So Thank you very much. And thank you again for watching. This has been a fantastic live stream. We've chatted to a whole bunch of people. 
And we're going to wrap things up now. And finally, we've got this slightly chilly room. Um, so thank you for joining us. Um, and hopefully we shall see you next gathering. Uh, this will be available on, I believe, all of our Azoic socials after this has ended. And we'll also have the individual uh, chats so that you can watch them back uh, if you'd like to. Can I just say a big thank you to Azoic as well. You guys have supported the community year on year and I do appreciate it. Oh, thank you.